Hmm, we're at chapter 4, verse 24 of First Chronicles, and I'm going to myrtleize the king's English once again at verse 24. The sons of Simeon were Nemuel and Jamin and Jerib, Zerah and Shal, and Shalem his son, Mibsam his son, Mishma his son, and the sons of Mishma, Hamuel his son, Zakur his son, Shimi or Shimi his son, and Shimei had sixteen sons and six daughters. And his brethren had not many children, neither did all the family multiply like of the children of Judah. And they dwelt at Beersheba and Molada and Hazar Shul, and at Bilha and at Ezem, and at Toled, and at Bethuel, and at Horma, and at Ziklag, and at Beth Markaboth, and Hazar Suzim, and at Beth Bairi, and at Shearam, and these were their cities unto the king reign of David. Verse 32, And their villages were Etam and Ian, Rimon, or Rim, yeah, Rim, Rimmon, and Token, and Ashan, five cities. And all their and all their villages that were round about the same cities unto Baal. These were their habitations and their genealogy. And Meshobab and Jamlech and Josha, the son of Amaziah, and Joel and Jehu, the son of Josabiah, the son of Sariah, the son of Asiel, and Eli Onei, and Jacoba, and Jeshohiah, and Asaiah, and Adiel, and Jesamiel, and Benaiah. Verse 37. And Ziza, the son of Shiphi, the son of Alon, the, the son of Jediah, the, the son of Shemri, the son of Shemaiah. These mentioned by their names were princes and their families, and the house of their fathers increased greatly. And they went to the entrance of Gedor, even unto the east side of the valley, to seek pasture for their flocks. Verse 40. And they found fat pasture and good, and land was wide and quiet and peaceable, for they of Ham had dwelt there of old. Notes. I think that's talking about the land that uh, one of uh, Noah's son, uh, Noah's sons actually took over and did business with. It's only speculation, though, but I'm probably right. Verse 41. And these writers are horrible, really. I'll start over. Verse 41. And these written by name came in the days of Hezekiah, king of Judah, and smote their tents and the habitations that were found there, and destroyed them utterly unto his day, and dwelt in their rooms, because there was pasture there for their flocks. And some of them, even the sons of Simeon, five hundred men went to Mount Seir, having for their captains Pelita and Neriah and Rephiah and Uziel the sons of Ishi. And they smote the rest of the Amalekites that were escaped and dwelt there unto this day. And we're at chapter 5. We're going to discuss the descendants of Reuben. Now the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, for he was the firstborn, but for as much as he defiled his father's bed, his first birthright was given unto the sons of Joseph and the son of Israel, which would be called Jacob, and their genealogy is not to be reckoned after this birthright. Notes. Reuben, being the firstborn of Jacob, should have had the birthright, but he forfeited it doing uh, to his sin uh, found in Genesis chapter 35 verse 22. And this is why there, the genealogy was not given first. In his place, Judah inherited the kingly rights in Genesis 49:10, and Joseph inherited the other blessings of his of the birthright, and Jesus would be born also to the tribe of Judah. Verse 2. For Judah prevailed above his brethren, and of him came the chief ruler, but the birthright was Joseph's. Notes. Well, this chief ruler was David, and in him 
David's greater son and lord. Verse 3. The sons, I say, of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, were Hanok and Palu, Hezron and Carmi. The sons of Joel were Shemai, his son, Gog, his son, and Shimei, his son. Verse 5. Micah, his son, Reiah, his son, Baal, his son, Bera, his son, whom Tiglath Pilsner, king of Assyria, carried away captive. He was prince of the Reubenites. And his brethren, by their families, when the genealogy of their generation was reckoned, were the chief, uh, Jael and Zechariah. And Bela, the son of Azaz, the son of Shema, the son of Joel, who dwelt in Aroer, even unto Nebo and baal Meon. Verse 9. And eastward he inhabited unto the entering in of the wilderness from the river Euphrates, because their cattle were multiplied in the land of Gilead. And in the days of Saul they made war with the Hagarites who fell by their hand. And they dwelt in their tents throughout all the east land of Gilead. And the children of Gad dwelt over against them in the land of Bashan unto Salia. Joel the chief and Shapham the next and Jeani and Shaphat in Bashan. And their brethren of the house of their fathers were Michael and Meshalam and Sheba and Joriah and Jachin and Zai and Heber seven. These were the children of Abihail the son of Huri the son of Jeroah, the son of Gilead, the son of Michael, the son of Jeshishai, the son of Jeha, or Jado, the son of Buzz, verse 15, where at? Ahai, the son of Abdiel, the son of Guni, chief of the house of their fathers. And they dwelt in Gilead and Bashan, and in her towns, and in all the suburbs of Sharon, up on upon their borders. And these were reckoned by genealogies in the days of Jotham, king of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, king of Israel. Verse 18. The sons of Reuben and the Gadites and half the tribe of Manasseh, of valiant men, men able to bear buckle and sword and to shoot with bow, and skillful in war, were four and forty thousand seven hundred and three score that went out to war. And they made war with the Hagarites, with Jeter and Nephish and Nodab. And they were helped against them, and the Hagarites were delivered into the hand, and all that were with them, for they cried to God in battle, and he was instead entreated of them, because they put their trust in him. Notes. Well, they put their trust in God, and a victory was what was the end result. That will be the end result if you trust in the Lord as well. It may not come in the fashion or the form that you would like it, but it will. Verse 21. And they took away their cattle, of their camels fifty thousand, and of sheep two hundred and fifty thousand, and of asses two thousand, and of men an hundred thousand, for there fell down many slain, because the war was of God, and they dwelt in their steeds until the captivity. And the children of the half-tribe of Manasseh dwelt in the land. They increased from Bashan unto Baal Hermon, and Senir, and Mount Hermon. Now we must pick up in chapter 5, verse 24 of the book of First Chronicles. Thank you, and God bless. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.